Hey y'all, welcome to today's video of Hey Gmo, what's for supper? Well, I'll tell y'all what's for supper. I'm going to be showing y'all how I put to use some of our garden raised home canned green beans and then um, garden raised a frozen corn on the cob. If y'all want to know how we do those, I've got videos on how we process our corn and how and, and canning green beans. So y'all, there's nothing like popping open a can of home canned green beans. I love it. And there's so many different ways you can use them. And another staple everybody needs in their kitchen is some bacon grease. Y'all, that's what I'm going to be doing with these green beans tonight as you can see i put some bacon grease in my pan i sliced up an onion and y'all if you don't know what i'm gonna do already we're just gonna fry these babies up in that bacon grease <laughs> so i got two jars there um i've already got them opened and i've got them drained uh, if you're gonna fry them you don't want all the juice in them okay so i'm gonna saute the onions in the bacon grease and at the same time those are working and frying up and sauteing, y'all, I have got a bag of my frozen corn on a cob in the microwave. And I'm st I thawed it out. See, I drained the juice. And then I'm going to be putting uh, real bacon pieces in this, y'all. I'm going to be adding bacon to it. So fried green beans and some onion and bacon grease and some bacon. There you go. But my, my corn is in the microwave and I am steaming it. I let it thaw out. I just cut the end of the bag off the vacuum seal bag. And then I put it in the microwave and I'm steaming that corn for three minutes on each side. So I got green beans going on the stove, corn steaming in the microwave, and you see that pan right there on the stove with the aluminum foil? Me and hubby tag teamed it today, y'all. He smoked two racks of ribs on our smoker outside all day and they are resting right now under that aluminum foil in that pan. So we just tag teamed it on this day, y'all, and sometimes that's just what we do. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. I'm just battling a little cough. Um, sometimes he will do the meats and he'll say, I'll handle the meats if you'll throw some sides together. And that's what we're doing tonight, y'all. So I'm just going to get these green beans frying up and then just let them be hanging out doing their thing. The meat's resting, corn's in the microwave. But y'all, growing your own food and preserving it, y'all, there is nothing better than just putting a meal together on a whim, opening up a bag, or opening up a jar. Okay, so let's see what I'm doing next. Everything's going to hang out a minute. Um, What am I going to do next? I'm going to get my corn out, yes. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. I just steamed it on both sides for three minutes. No butter or nothing because I'll show you what I'm going to be doing with this corn. Um, y'all, we like Mexican street corn. And there is so many ways, y'all, you can do Mexican street corn. You go on Pinterest, you pull up a recipe for Mexican street corn, and you're going to get about a thousand recipes you can either leave it on the cob those are hot i'm gonna let them sit there and cool off just a minute hubby's gonna be checking the ribs i'm gonna, gonna stir the green beans and um back to the corn there is so many ways that you can do this y'all you can leave it on the cob and then put your mixture on there or you can do what i'm going to be doing I'm sorry, y'all. Back to the green beans. <laughs> y'all, I'm sorry. I'm having to do a voiceover on this one because I was with the granddaughter all day long doing some school for pre-K, you know, and he didn't want to bother us. But that evening, he's like, okay, y'all had y'all's time. Now, I need to get in here. He is doing some things in the kitchen, and it's loud, and he he's doing his at night. While I worked with her during the day, so he didn't want to bother us. So now it's his time to get in the kitchen, and he's hammering, and he's 
he's sawing and he's doing all this other stuff. And it was just loud. And I said, you know what? You do your thing. I'll do my thing. I'll set up the camera and I'll just do a voiceover. So here we are. <clears throat> so, and see, that's another way we work together, y'all. Y'all see, I just added some more bacon bits to it, some salt and pepper. I'm just going to let them hang out some more. Now let's get back to the corn. <laughs> Y'all, can, you can put your mixture on your corn on the cob if you want to, that you can leave it on the cob, spread your mixture on the cob, and eat it like that. But sometimes, y'all, we've done it that way, but sometimes, y'all, we also just like taking it off the cob and still putting the mixture in there. <clears throat> And then just giving it a stir, and it's like a cold corn salad, but it's Mexican street corn salad, okay? So, I let those cool off, and then I'm taking our Dow Strong knives, y'all. We have Dow Strong knives and pots and pans, and y'all, they have lifetime warranties on them. They are an investment, but they are lifetime warranties, y'all, and you can't beat that. We got tired of just having to replace knives all the time, and sharpen, and sharpen, and sharpen, and sharpen, and we're just like, you know what? Let's just get some good knives so that's what we did same thing with our pots and pans they're in our amazon store if you want to check them out and um so um but i do have some backup knives for the granddaughters to use because y'all these are extremely sharp so i'm i've got some cut off i'm gonna finish cutting those off <clears throat> Now, I'm just going to add the ingredients for the Mexican street corn. And uh, let's see, it's mayonnaise, sour cream. I know there's Katija cheese. You can either, you can put it on top or you can mix it all in. I'll see in a minute what I choose to do, y'all. But we like to use Duke's mayonnaise. Um, and y'all, it has less sugar in it for my husband. Now I'm going to put the sour cream in there. Y'all, we've got to the point where we just eyeball it. And we, we was using a recipe and just, we would have to pull it up every single time we did it. But I'm like, you know what? I think I got this. We wind up adding some or whatever anyway so I'm like let's just eyeball it from now on so that's what we've been doing but you can pull up the recipe y'all and get exact measurements on Pinterest you, tons of recipes okay let's see so I've got the sour cream and the mayonnaise uh, granulated garlic powder or salt garlic salt if you use garlic salt don't add extra salt to anything okay hence garlic salt Okay, uh, what else am I going to use? Chili powder, yes, chili powder. And I believe the other one back there, y'all, is going to be paprika. Okay, so once I get all those ingredients in the bowl, y'all, I'm just going to give all that a quick stir. And, oh yes, I forgot, lime juice. Yes, you got just a little splash of lime to give all those Flavors incorporated together to give it that Mexican-y taste, y'all. Um, the paprika, I think I put at the end, or I might have already put it on there and just missed it, y'all. We'll see here in a minute. <laughs> but I'm going to give all this a stir, and after that's done, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. Let me wet my whistle and get a swig of water. Oh, that's better. I'm going to give all that a stir, and then the Katija cheese that we bought, y'all, you can either get the shaker powder, or I believe this time we prompted to get the uh, Katija cheese that was in the little round circle, and... um grated that up and I think I probably wound up you can mix it in there if you want to but I think dear hubby said this time let's try just grating it up and putting it on top and see how that does so you can do it either or y'all and if you want to y'all you can add a little bit of parmesan cheese if you want to to give it some more flavor but I cho we chose this time to just get it mixed up and then just spray grate this up and put it on top 
and then you can either mix in your paprika with it or you can sprinkle the paprika on top whatever you choose to do so i'm just grating this up and i'm just gonna even it all out and then voila that's gonna be our mexican street corn y'all and um He's roaming around in the kitchen, and y'all, he's going behind me, helping me pick up a little bit. Teamwork, y'all. We work together. We've done this for years. This ain't our first rodeo. I appreciate his help so much, y'all. In a marriage, y'all, it's teamwork. Especially if both people work full-time jobs and you come home, you got to slap a meal together, get the kids fed, get supper going, baths, schoolwork, work together as a team, y'all. And that's what I'm trying to teach our kids. And they're doing it with their families and in their house. We've got one son. See, we clean as we go. We got one son, y'all, that doesn't have children yet. Um, him and our daughter-in-law are just enjoying life. And but they still work together. She works some long hours because she works in a clinic, and y'all they help each other. He'll he gets off work first and he'll come in and start some supper. And you know, they help each other out. Our other sons got our granddaughters, him and his wife, they work together, y'all, getting everybody getting everything done. When everybody meets in the household at nighttime, that's what it's all about, y'all. Work together as a team in your household. All right, dear hubby, uh, um, we have granite countertops, y'all, and we don't put anything hot right on top of our granite countertops, so we use a cutting board. There's the Mexican street corn ready. I'm bringing the pan over there. The green, the fried green beans and onions and bacon is done. Hubby's testing the ribs. His perfectionist, y'all, he's a perfectionist. He's testing everything. Um, the ribs turned out so tender, y'all, and we are going to plate up our meal and we are going to enjoy our supper y'all i hope y'all give these recipes a try i hope y'all enjoy them um like i said i will link the pit boss smoker in the description box below the one that we have and you can check it out our dal strong knives and dal strong um pots and pans are in our amazon store if you want to check those out dear hubby was like you know what I made you a kitchen. I rebuilt you a kitchen. Now I want some things. So I'm like, hey, go for it. You deserve it. So y'all, here's our plates. And we are going to sit down and enjoy our supper. I hope y'all will give this meal a try and enjoy your supper. And we will see y'all in the next video. Yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> I'm going to plate mine up. And we are going to enjoy supper as a as a couple, say our prayers, bless our food, and y'all, it was delicious. So I hope y'all give this meal a try, and we will have more videos to come where I'm using more of my um, home canned vegetables from raised from the garden. Um, more that we freeze and we preserve. Uh, Y'all just be sure to check out our gardening playlist, how we grow our produce, what we grow, how we put it up. Check out our preserving playlist, canning and preserving playlist. Uh, we do meats. We do... Um, uh, vegetables and and we freeze a lot y'all so check them out there is our supper we're gonna enjoy ours now i will see y'all in the next video